So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Page Visibility API, and you can use it to determine whether a user's actually got your page open and they're actually looking at it, or whether it's just in a tab in the browser, but it's just sitting along all the other tabs that aren't currently being used. So let's dive in and take a look at how you can use the Page Visibility API to do just that. So if we want to see if the current tab is actually visible to the user, if they've actually got it in focus, on the document object we can actually access a property called visibility state. And as you can see, because this tab is actually visible to me at the moment, we're getting the string of visible back. If we weren't actually looking at this particular tab at the moment, the visibility state value would actually be hidden. And there is also a further state of pre-render which occurs during page loading, but we don't need to worry about that one too much. So this visibility state property can be used at any point in your code to determine whether the tab is visible or not which isn't massively useful because when the user is actually interacting with your page, then the tab will obviously be visible. But there is also an event which listens out for changes to this visibility state, and that is called the visibility change event. So to do that, we set up a new event uh, using the add event listener function on the document object. And the event we want to listen out for is visibility change. So if we pass in a callback to be triggered each time that the visibility state changes, and we could do something simple just like logging out the document.visibility state. So if we save that in the console and then if we go and open up a new tab, this original tab is no longer in focus so we should have triggered a change to the visibility state and if we go back to that tab, you can see in our console we first of all get a state of hidden. So that would have been when we navigated to the new tab and then when we return to the tab we've got a state of visible because the tab that we set this code up in is now focused by the user. So let's just try that one more time. Let's go back to the open tab and then go back to the original and again we've got the state update of hidden and then back to visible again. So you can use this event to actually trigger different actions depending on whether you know that the user is actually looking at your tab or not. And also triggering further events if the user is actually navigating away from your page. And we can do that just by using a few simple if statements inside of our event listener. So let's actually refresh the page and set that up again. So instead of the console log here, now what I'm going to put in is a destructure of the visibility state. I can spell it right there and it will take that from the document object. So if the visibility state is equal to hidden, so if we've moved away from this particular tab, let's just do something trivial like setting the title of the tab to some new text. And if the visibility state is back in view, so the user has come back to our tab, so we can do that by checking if the actual string that's come back from visibility state is set to visible. What we'll do is just reset the title. So currently at the default, it's page visibility API. And let's actually just put a semicolon here instead of a colon. And if we save that and try that out in the browser, when we navigate to the new tab again, you can see that the document title is actually changing for us. And when we come back, you can see that the title is then restored. So that's not something that's commonly used and it's probably not advisable for creating a good user experience, but you can see how you can use those two if statements here that we've got to actually trigger different actions, depending on whether the user is actually focused or not on your current tab. So that's it for this tutorial about the page visibility API. Just before you go, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel and so you don't miss out on any future tutorials.